Hi, I'm Larry DeBoer. I'm a professor in the Agricultural Economics Department and an Extension Specialist in the Purdue Cooperative Extension Service. And this is another in our series on local government, uh, this chapter about local income tax distributions. Well, Indiana local governments were, I think, shocked to discover that uh, next year, in uh, budget year 2011, uh, local income tax revenues are likely to decline by quite a bit. We've already had the announcement from the state budget agency as to how much it is going to decline, and you see the number right there. Uh, that's for the state as a whole, for uh, all the uh, 91 counties that have local option income taxes from 2010 to 2011, a decline of 15.9 percent after growth of 4.9 percent from 2009 to 2010. And uh, what I want to do here is talk a little bit about uh, why this happened and uh, what might be the prospects for recovering from this uh, great big decline in income taxes in 2012. And the first thing we want to look at is what has happened to state income tax revenue. And the reason for comparing the two is because uh, local income taxes and state income taxes uh, tax the same tax base. Adjusted gross income adjusted to Indiana taxable income. As you know, when you fill out the state income tax form, you also fill out the county income tax forms based on the sta same taxable income. So what happens to state uh, income tax revenue must eventually happen to local income tax revenue as well. Well, state income tax revenue shows a different pattern than the local income tax changes. From fiscal year 2008 to fiscal year 2009, state income tax revenue declined 10.8%, and from fiscal year 2009 to fiscal year 10, it declined 10.2%. Uh, why the different pattern? Well, let's take a look. The uh, state budget agency puts out monthly numbers on income tax collections, and these are the, uh, the numbers from the withholdings. Uh, that take place uh, every week or every two weeks or every month uh, from your paychecks and also uh, payments on other sorts of income and uh, the occasional refund that uh, are handed out especially in the, uh, the spring of every year. And what you have here are six month figures, percent changes in six months figures. So the last number you've got up there for 2010 January through June was the change from 2009 January to June to 2010 January for June and it was about minus five and a half percent. Well, if you take a look, the really bad part of the recession in Indiana was 2009. Look at the two years, January through June 2009 and July through December 2009. We had an 18% decline in income tax collections in the January-June 2009 from the previous January through June of 2008, and then a 15% decline in July-December from the previous July-December in 2008. So it was those two six-month periods where the recession was really felt as far as income tax revenues are concerned. Now, the state and the local uh, income taxes use the same tax base, but their collection and distribution pattern uh, are different. With the state, uh, the money is collected in real time. It's collected from withholding, from current payments, less refunds. So whatever arrives in state coffers in any particular month is the amount of money that was held from paychecks that had been earned in that month. Uh, that means that uh, the 2009 incomes, the 2009 uh, uh, tax collections, uh, were off of 2009 incomes. For the state, the calendar year 2009 was the second half of fiscal 2009 and the first half of fiscal 2010, which means the effect of the really deep part of the recession was spread over two fiscal years for the state, over fiscal years 2009 and 2010. Local government distributions take place uh, differently. Uh, the rules for distributing uh, money, uh, the income tax money to local governments are that we distribute money from revenue that's already been collected. So those 2009 incomes that were taxed by the state in those uh, uh, two fiscal years um, are the basis for the tax payments that are collected in 2010. The tax statements filed by April of 2010 were based on 2009 earnings. That income is counted, and whatever that income happens to be gets distributed to local governments in 2011. So 2011 distributions are based on 2010 tax collections, which were based on 2009 incomes. And that means that the effect of 
the 2009 income tax collapse will be felt by local governments in 2011. And that's why you got that 15.9% decline uh, all at once uh, for uh, the distributions for local governments in 2011. Notice that these are not revenue projections. These are the distributions that local governments will receive in 2011. That's what the budget agency was announcing uh, this past July. Well, if you take a look, we can uh, actually see it on the graph. There's the state fiscal year 2009. And as you can see, the first half of it uh, showed uh, virtually year zero growth, the 2008 July December figure. And then uh, the uh, second half of fiscal year 2009, which was the first half of calendar year 2009, showed the big collapse. State fiscal year 2010 are those two years right there, July, December, 09, and January through June of 10. And as you can see, uh, one very bad six-month period and then another pretty mediocre six-month period uh, added up to that uh, decline that the state experienced. The local distribution for 2010 is based on what happened to uh, incomes uh, in calendar year 2008. And as you can see, we had two decent uh, six-month periods, a 5% growth and then a zero. And that accounted for the growth that occurred uh, for local income tax distributions in 2010. The local distribution for 2011 is based on these two years right here, or these two six-month periods right there. Uh, calendar year 2009, those are the two big declines. That's why you got the big drop uh, in 2011. Well, as it turns out, we can uh, now look ahead because uh, we have now got seven months of 2010 data in for um, uh, state collections. And that's what you see right there. Now, for the first six months, January through June of 2010, we've got ourselves about a 5.5% decline from the previous January through June of 2009. So uh, income, uh, tax revenues not recovering, in fact, still declining from their uh, very low levels of January through June 2009. And that will be the basis, at least that's the first six months, uh, of the uh, basis for the local income tax distribution for local governments in 2012. Now we've got another month, we've got July's figure as well, uh, which showed uh, not very much of a change uh, from the, uh, uh, the previous month in 2009. Well, uh, what does this mean? Uh, well, uh, actually, what I want to talk about is, is how does this happen? Why the big declines? Why did we see this enormous drop in income when our economy didn't really decline that much? GDP went down by about 2.5% in 2009. Indiana personal income went down between 1.5% and 2% in 2009. Why the big drop in income tax revenue? And to figure that out, what I did was to take a look at some data that the IRS provides. The, uh, national, the federal government's Internal Revenue Service actually divides up Indiana income into its various components, something that our own Department of Revenue cannot do because we don't record that information on our tax forms. And what you find is that from 2007 to 2008, in 2008 the first year of recession, not the really bad year, but the first year, that's the most recent data the IRS provides, we see that uh, adjusted gross income went down by about six and a half billion dollars and that almost all of this, more than 80% of it, was the decline in capital gains income. Salaries and wages, you'll see, actually went up a little bit, very little bit, but actually went up over this period. What went down, the reason that adjusted gross income, taxable income, went down so much was the decline in capital gains. What does that mean? That's the stock market crash. And it turns out when the stock market crashed in 2008 and 2009, that caused a decline in income tax revenue received by Indiana local governments in 2010 and 2011. And here you can see, this is the Standard & Poor's 500 market uh, index, and you can see what's been happening there. A uh, very big drop in 2008 and on into 2009, a little bit of a recovery in 2009, pretty much stagnant in 2010. Well, what does this mean for uh, income taxes in 2012 for Indiana local governments? I don't think we're going to see much of a recovery. Uh, we know six or uh, seven months of uh, data from the state is not showing a big increase in uh, state income tax collections, and that will be the basis of what happens to local governments in 2012. And if capital gains are that important in taxable income mix, uh, the uh, uh, stock market is not uh, recovering particularly well here in 2010 either. So a continued bleak outlook 
for local income tax revenue for local governments uh, in 2012. That's on local government, local income tax distributions. I'm Larry DuBoer.